All right, my favorite group of people. I'm going to show you guys how to take a model file or an IPT file and generate an orthographic or an IDW or sometimes called a sheet drawing uh, from that file. So first of all, have the file that you want to uh, create the IDW from. So right now I have my gold piece open and I'm going to go to the I and I'm going to go to new. And you should see these two templates, one that says PLTWA and one that says PLTWC. If you do not, you need to stop this video and go watch the uh, video on installing templates and get a flash drive from me that will have those templates on them. But they're already installed, so I'm going to pick PLTWA and I'm going to press create. I've got a little script here for you to help you fill in your title block. So puzzle, uh, project name is Puzzle Cube. Your name is your actual name. The date. Okay, and the file name is what this is. So this is the gold piece. Tell it OK. Give it a second. It's probably going to give you an error because the template was made for Adventure 2010 and we're in 2014, but it doesn't matter, it still works. And now all of that information has been put there for you, so you don't have to try and um, line up text or anything. So yay! So to create the orthographic, I'm going to click on Base. I'm going to make sure that the piece I want to create the orthographic of is right here, which it is, gold piece, and I want the front view to be my main view, so that's what I'm picking here. Then I just click down here in the drawing, I click above it, I'm going to get a blank box, that's fine. I click to the right of it, and I click in the corner to get the isometric. If you were doing a left view, you would simply click to the left. To get the boxes to turn into the views, you right click and you pick create. And there's your orthographic drawing. Now notice how when I roll my mouse over each um, piece, it highlights the secondary views are locked to the primary view, which is the front view, so you can't really move that. You can move them up and up and back, but Inventor is smart enough to know that the views have to line up, so it's not going to let you really move them all over the page. The isometric, however, you can move wherever you want. Um, make sure it stays in the border. Don't do this. Drives me nuts. And let's get some color on that isometric. I don't want the orthographic views colored because you guys are going to dimension those and I'll show you dimensioning in a second um, but I do want this colored so if I roll my mouse over here and I see that I get the red box I'm going to double click and I'm going to select the uh, shaded view and now it shades it. To do the dimensions I go to annotate and I click dimension. I'm going to start in the front view I'm going to click here and here and that's the overall width And we just had an announcement. Um, I'm going to do the overall depth here. And I'm going to do the overall height. I'm just clicking the corners, letting the number come out, and telling it OK when that box appears. Now I need to go dimension the other parts of the drawing that aren't the overall measurements. So I'm going to get this guy here. I need the height here, and if I get the height here, it'll cover the height that goes here. Okay, I'm going to do this guy, and this guy. I'm not going to bother doing this one because if this is 2.25 and that's 0.75 and that's 0.75, there's only one thing that this can be. And I'm going to try and get these guys to line up a little better. And you can do that by pressing escape on your keyboard, highlighting the dimension, and then kind of just playing with it a little bit. And they should line up. There we go. Okay, I need the depth over here, so I'm going to go back to dimension. Yeah, 
again. It doesn't want to do it, so we'll try again. There we go. All right, so looking at this, here's my overall height. My height really changes once because it's got this part here and then this part. My width is covered. Secondary width measurements. Depth is covered. There's the depth. So this, pro this one is done. You would save it and then go to the eye, go to print, pick the 5430 and you want best fit and hit OK and it'll print to my color printer in the back. All right.